You know, they say the third time's the charm, right? People say that. They do. I know it. Hillary Clinton is not running for president for a third time in 2020. That sentence is, I think, accurate, and it will remain accurate over the next 14-ish months. Of course, this is politics, so things happen. People change their minds. Barack Obama said in 2006 that he would definitely not run for president in 2008. You know how that story wound up, right? So keeping that in mind, Clinton has said a few things this fall that raise some eyebrows. Now, in early October, President Donald Trump tweeted this, quote, I think that crooked Hillary Clinton should enter the race to try and steal it away from uber-left Elizabeth Warren. Only one condition. The crooked one must explain all of her crimes and misdemeanors, including how and why she deleted 33,000 emails after getting C subpoena, end quote. <laughs> right. Well, that all makes sense. So Clinton, quick on the draw, responded to Trump via Twitter with this biting reply, quote, don't tempt me, do your job, end quote. Clap back, oh -ho! That's what the kids call it, right? Also Lizzo, flute, and I love friends. What a show. Then there was the interview with PBS's Judy Woodruff where Clinton said this in response to a question about Trump's urging her to run again, quote, so maybe there does need to be a rematch. I mean, obviously I can beat him again, end quote. Uh, Woodruff did note via Twitter that Clinton added she was joking. <laughs> <clears throat> now, that series of Clinton comments comes just a few weeks after she drew tons of media attention by referring to Trump as a corrupt human tornado, which is one hell of a way to describe someone in an interview with CBS. And in that same interview, Clinton said this of the 2016 and 2020 campaigns, quote, I believe that, look, there were many funny things that happened in my election that will not happen again. And I'm hoping that both the public and press understand the way Trump plays the game, end quote. Now, all of that follows the emergence of Clinton as one of the most high profile and effective Twitter trolls of Trump, tongue twister Twitter trolls of Trump. So following the Russia hosted World Cup in 2018, Clinton tweeted this, quote, great World Cup, question for President Trump as he meets Putin. Do you know which team you play for? End quote, boom. Then, when Trump took a shot at Clinton in March 2019, after she said she wouldn't run again in 2020, she tweeted this iconic Mean Girls meme. Regina George was the real hero of that movie. You know I'm right. Now, the point is that Clinton, or whoever is running her Twitter account, regularly jabs Trump and mocks him, moves that have won her lots and lots of kudos from the liberal side of the social media world. Now, none of this is by accident. Clinton has been around politics for a long time. She knows exactly what she's doing when she makes these jokes. She just does. But that doesn't mean that all of this adds up to Clinton running for president in 2020. So back in January, CNN did report that Hillary Clinton had not totally closed the door on running for president next November. A few months later, in March, Clinton addressed that chatter this way. I'm not running, but I'm going to keep uh, working and speaking and standing up for what I believe. I want to be sure that people understand I'm going to keep speaking out. I'm not going anywhere. So that statement, broadly understood, could explain what Clinton has been up to over the past few weeks. She's just speaking out as one of the most prominent Democratic politicians in the country. I'd argue the only Democrat more high profile than Clinton is probably Barack Obama. And the former president has been very careful about when and why he says anything about Donald Trump. So, of course, there's also this fact to consider. Hillary Clinton would like to be president, and losing the White House to Donald Trump while winning the popular vote by almost three million is not the sort of thing that she, or really anyone, gets over. Like, ever. So, if Clinton could simply be named the Democratic nominee, she would probably do it. That is not how nomination fights work, though. And there are still 19 candidates running in the race, meaning that voters have a choice of every size, shape, and ideological bent they could possibly want. So could I dream up a scenario where Clinton gets floated as a compromise candidate at some point down the line? I could. Like, if Elizabeth Warren looks like the nominee and jumpy Democratic establishment types worry she is too liberal to beat Trump. And Clinton could well be someone they would look to as a trusted vote-getter. But that's a long, 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 
that's the right number of longs, shot. That likely wouldn't work anyway, because the base of the party would rebel against the idea of trying to keep the nomination from Warren, and rightly so. In short, Hillary Clinton's jokes about running for president in 2020 are just that. Jokes. At least, I think. And that is the point. We make New Point episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. Check them all out.